What's happening? Lunch with Bomb. Topic today is grab the rope. Man, I know you don't know and you don't know what you don't know, but if you knew, holy cow. If you want to know, message me, I'll tell you. Okay? Things are blowing up. Straight up going vertical. Okay? Uh, give me give me a call. Hey, what's up, uh, Jones? Coach Jones? Kyle? What's happening? All right, official. There's the bell. Got my stay stoked shirt on. Uh, topic of the day, lunch with bomb, is grab the rope. You know, uh, and a lot of things in life when you're on a team and you got your, say you're on an athletic team or a business team, uh, it's kind of the 80 20 rule, right? You got 20% of the population is going to do 80% of the work, but in the real team setting, you need eight, the 80% to pull their own load. But if they never grab the rope, they never grab on and pull and start working together, y'all working together as a team, then you're always just going to have that, that small percentage of population that's doing all the work. And then the other 80%, they're either dragging you, holding you back, or they just fall off and then they're gone. So my thing to you is, is you got to grab the rope. If you want to accomplish something and you've got somebody that's a driving force in your life, you got to grab on. You got to say, hey man, I'm coming with you. It's like if you're thinking about climbing to the top of the, the mountain, like I'm going to the top straight up, going vertical. I'm going to climb the rope. I'm going to dangle that rope down to you. You got to grab on and come with me. You know, that's the, that's the excitement. You know, the, you know, the, the team talked the other day about, uh, you know, you're only strong as your weakest link, but if it's still connected, it still works. So you got to grab the rope. So I got a couple ideas uh, on that is, okay, so I'm an early bird. I love the mornings, but one of my rules is, you know, if the alarm goes off, you got to get your feet on the floor. I think this was Coach Boyle shared this one with me a while back. Is that you just got to get your feet on the floor. Don't hit snooze. You know, don't roll over. I'll just say, I'll do it tomorrow because you know what happens tomorrow. You're not going to do it either. So get your feet on the floor and go get it done. Actually, my mom was telling me, if it's something that I can get done in the next two minutes, do it. Don't wait. Don't put it off because it's probably gone by that point. So number one is get your feet on the floor because the only way that you're going to get up and grab the rope is to get up and get moving. Okay. And then one of my other favorite lines is if you get knocked down and maybe you fall off the rope, if you can look up, you can get back up. All right. So I'm going to talk about failure in a second here. So I'll come to that and stuff. The other thing is, you know, take responsibility for your actions. You know, you, you own it. All right, this is, here's a great one. So we had our, our crew at the, the state track meet, um, and there's a lot of kids, right? They put in a lot of work, a lot of time, um, and one of our, one of our top gals, uh, she ends up winning the state title, um, and we were talking about leading into failure here, is in the past, she would always worry about losing or getting beat versus controlling herself, taking responsibility for herself, and then going out and running her race. I'm not worried about anybody else. So what does she do? She goes out and smokes it. So take responsibility for your own actions. It's not anybody else. No one else is going to do it for you. I mean, and that's the problem in our culture now is that we, we're so many like participation awards and everybody's got to feel good and sorry, life is going to pop, 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 pop is going to give you the right left combo, right? So you got to you got to take responsibility for your actions, okay? And here's the other thing, there's a lot of days where you don't feel like doing it. Just do a little. If you're trying to get started, if you're trying to get started on what let's say you just you want to get more active, right? And We've all done it before where we haven't worked out in a while and all of a sudden we do it and then we're really sore. Or the, my favorite one is the person that hasn't done any exercise and they decide to go run a 5K and all of a sudden they're so sore, they're like, that was the most awful thing I've done in forever. I'm never doing that again. Well, maybe start with five minutes. Maybe start with one lap because you're still lapping the person that's sitting on the couch. So the duration and the time really don't matter as long as you start. You got to grab the rope. All right, if you never get your feet on the floor, if you never start small, you never reach up and actually grab on, you're never going to make it happen, right? So that's the next one. The other one is, you know, I, I mentioned it too, just about with the, 
the, in the track scenario, in life scenario, you can't be afraid to fail. Failure, failure is where we learn. You know, you can't be afraid. We talk, I talked about a few days ago, we talked about fear. You know, we either forget everything and run or we face everything and rise. And once again, here we go. Grab the rope, right? Reach up and pull. You got to just get yourself on the floor. Get your feet moving, if, even if it's a small, and grab the rope. And don't be afraid. Like I said, if you fall, it's okay. If you can look up, and most of us, we can look up, we can get back up and keep going. Okay? So don't be afraid to fail. And then other thing, maybe you throw a little reward in there. You throw a little reward at the end of saying, hey, I got a goal or something. Maybe I'm going to walk for five minutes every day. Maybe I'm going to walk down to the stop sign uh, during my uh, my 15-minute break five days in a row this week. And if I do it, then I have a little reward. Maybe it's a movie night. Maybe it's a cup of coffee. Whatever it might be, you have those things that you can you can add you know, little, little rewards into your day. So real quick, I'm just going to recap. All right, so number one, you got to get your feet on the floor. You got to grab the rope, right? You got to get up and grab it. You got to take responsibility for your own actions. No one else is going to do it for you, okay? Uh, Let's see, what do we got? Uh, If you don't feel like doing it today is number three, do a little bit. And then don't be afraid to fail. Fail, failure happens, but that's where we're going to learn. And then the final thing is maybe you got a little, uh, you, you have a little reward of the accomplishments that you, you, you when you accomplish something, right? You got a little little treat at the end. I, one of the, uh, oh gosh, I've talked about it a bunch of times. The, the kids, right? They have this little strategy, plan, do, review, right? They have an idea that they're going to do something and then they go do it. And if they enjoy doing it, then they're going to do it again. Well, we're all the same way. Creatures of habit, right? If we like doing something, we keep doing it. If we have success doing it. And then all of a sudden, you know, we, we keep doing it. So, you know, when, when you have a negative experience, all of a sudden you're like, that was not fun at all. What's going to happen? You're not going to, you're not going to continue doing it. Right? So have a plan in place. You, you got you, you got to get your feet on the floor. You got to take responsibility for your own actions. If you don't feel like doing it today, start small. You don't be afraid to fail. All right. You got to just reach up and grab the rope one fist over the other and just climb. If you want to go to the top, you got to just keep moving. Okay. And then reward yourself. And what's the reward? You know, everybody's going to be a little bit different what it is. You know, you got to have your why. You got to have your goal. You got to have your plan in place. You got to have strategies so that when roadblocks come up or barriers come up that you're not going to stop. You're going to keep going. Okay. One foot in front of the other. It doesn't matter. It's your workout, whether it's your nutrition, whether you want to lose weight, whether it's your job situation, your relationship situation. You got to have those things in place because life's just going to beat you up. It's going to throw rights and lefts at you. You got to just, it's not about, don't worry about failing. It's about how you handle the failure so that you learn from it and you get better. Okay. Uh, one little, uh, my last little thought of the day is um, why not? Why not learn to? Li- why not learn to enjoy the little things because there's a lot of them. Okay. My favorite thing about the glass half empty or half full. Half empty, half full. They're both refillable, so just fill them back up. All right. Give me a thumbs up. Throw some comments down. I'll get back to you as I go. You guys have a rocking rest of your day. I'm fired up. There's things getting crazy, 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 crazy. Going vertical. It is like nonsense. You want to know what's going on? Shoot me a message. All right? Talk soon. You guys have a rocking, fantastic day. And it's finally hot here in the Northwest. I love it. All right? Talk soon.